Now we're going to head back out with Kyle from D4 Performance. He's going to walk you through caliber selection and handgun selection. Go ahead, brother. Hey, Kyle here on the range. Today we're going to talk about gun type and caliber when you're selecting uh, what pistol you want to carry. I've got the, the Glock family here and uh, just going to start down here at the bottom with the uh, subcompact Glock 26. So I take a peek at this one. Um, a subcompact is just that. It is really small. You look at, I've got average size hands and, and it is, it's pretty, pretty darn tiny in my hands. I'm not a big fan of sub, subcompacts. Uh, hard, no matter the caliber, it's hard to control it. A lot of felt recoil on a subcompact. Once you get back to 20-ish yards or so, accuracy, you know, definitely takes a nosedive. Uh, the next one up would be a compact. So this is a Glock 19, 9 millimeter. This is personally what I like. Uh, in my opinion, you know, compact for my size build, kind of a smaller guy. This is what I like. This gun will easily go back to 100 yards. Uh, it'll do everything in between, and it's pretty easy to conceal. The next one up is a full frame. Uh, this is a Glock 17. And uh, even though I did cut this one down uh, to make the, the back end uh, the size of a 19, everything up here is full frame size. Now, a full frame gun typically is a duty gun. Most LE guys are going to wear, you know, a full frame gun like a 17 or a Glock or a SIG 226 or a Beretta 92. Same with the military uh, because they're not really worried about concealment. The thing with a full frame is that it can still be used as concealment on a bigger guy. A bigger individual can definitely use this and he can hide it as well as I can hold, hide a 19. Um, so my personal opinion on pistols is, you know, in 2013, I don't know that we need a pistol with a hammer anymore. So I think, you know, a modern pistol it needs to be striker fired. I think that a compact is about as small as I would go into a fight with. Subcompact's a little too sketch. I can get no distance out of it, you know, per se. So for me, I would go with a polymer gun either a Glock or an M&P or, or some such, striker fired, uh, compact at the smallest. And now we talk about caliber. The caliber debate's been around for a long time. Personally, I like 9 millimeter. Um, there's no proven study that says 40 or 45 does better than 9 mil on a human. Um, now, things advantages to 9 mil, you can hold more rounds in there typically. Uh, felt recoil is a little bit easier to control. You know, disadvantages to 40 and 45, sometimes less rounds. Um, definitely harder to control. You're going to need to practice a little bit more to be good with that gun. Uh, so what we're going to do now, we've shot these bricks before with ball ammo. Now what we're going to do is on the, on the right side of each brick, the 9s and 40s, we're going to use hollow point ammunition. I'm going to start out with a uh, 40 cal hollow point. I'm going to go into the 2 inch solid brick. I'm going to take a peek at what it does. All right, completely cuts it off. We're going to go to the right side of the 16 inch uh, concrete block with a hollow point 40. Had a malfunction there. All right, now, interesting what, there, what happened right there is it completely decimated the front of that 16-inch brick, but it didn't do anything to the back end. didn't even go all the way through. And we're talking about, what, five, six inches of air right there. So now, same thing with uh, uh, hollow point nine, and uh, all these rounds are, are hollow point performance rounds. So I'm going to go into the solid piece first on the nine, a little bit low below that other shot. All right, just, just knocks the crap out of it. And now I'm going to go on the right side of the 16-inch hollow, hollow block. And that penetrated all the way through. We're going to clear and safe both of these, make sure everything here is clear. We're going to go down and take a peek. So the 40 decimated this and knocked the top of the, of the solid off, uh, you know, but did not penetrate here. And the 9 mil hollow point goes all the way through this concrete. Definitely cracked it right here, did not penetrate. And then on the solid piece, the 9 mil just put a good dent in here. You compare that with a ball round, it looks like the ball round actually went deeper than the, uh, than the hollow point. So the thing with the pistol calibers is we can shoot stuff like bricks and, and all kinds of things like that and, and kind of look at it. Uh, we also have to look at, at the other aspects of it. What does it do on a human body? Um, the end answer is nothing replaces shot placement. Uh, Think back to middle middle 19th or 20th century. You know, we didn't. We had guys were running around with 38s, policemen, um, and and they had no problems whatsoever. So, um, you know, shot placement is the key. I wouldn't worry so much about caliber. There are certain situations where 40 is going to outperform nine, or 45 is going to outperform 40, so forth and so on. I think most of your experienced guys will tell you nine mil is probably your better handgun caliber to go with, uh, for for the reasons of felt recoil. Terminal ballistics, no real difference on humans.
So uh, something to think about. Get out there on your own practice. If you do shoot a larger caliber handgun, make sure you get a lot of rounds downrange so you can control it. All right, we'll see you out there.